what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel so one of the biggest struggles right now in the sneaker world is finding sneakers and finding sneakers for retail so over the past two days we set on a mission to find the best sneakers that you can only buy at the malls right now which we have all right here because genuinely it is hard to find good sneakers so if you have to go to a mall you cannot buy a shoe online and you need to buy a pair of shoes maybe for school coming up tomorrow you for college coming up tomorrow anything like that this is the best curated list that we could find of sneakers at the mall so as you can see you have a nice little variety of boxes here i want to take you guys to the mall so you can see our kind of incognito mode of us checking out some of these stores so you can see that we actually got them in those stores and just some of the footage there not too much just to give you an idea of what's at our mall now i went to cumberland mall which has what nick like nine sneaker stores in it, it had way more sneakers it had than I was jimmy used jazz jd sport foot locker champ dtlr foot action like it had like everything is insane let's cut to that now <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. We have Foot Locker, Foot Action, House of Hoops, JD Sports, Jimmy Jazz. We got a lot, so champs, got a lot of stuff. So let's go ahead and uh, head there. All right, guys, we're back. We have all of our sneakers here. So as you can see, there's a decent variety, like we said before. Now, what I tried to do is do some stuff that was different because we've done videos at the past where we're buying at the mall, but like it's 2022, things are different than like three years ago when we do this. So we have a good variety, I think. I think we did okay for because there's nothing at the mall. But we found some stuff that's at the mall. Where should we start? I think I want to start with this one. So this is a LeBron, as you can tell. This is a LeBron. It released somewhat recently, I think, Nick. Yeah, like really not that long ago. Not that long ago. So they had a sizing was one little thing for these. It's a little bit tough, but this is the uh, Nike LeBron 8 Low in the Sprite color. This is actually a pretty clean colorway. Nick pointed these out the second that we got in there and saw they're cool. I don't have too many LeBrons. I got the South Beaches when they re-released, but this is actually a pretty cool colorway. And for a basketball sneaker, retail is 180 on them, a little bit higher. So after tack, you're looking at about 196 bucks. That's a good chunk of money for a shoe that you're getting at the mall. I think we have some other options that are about half the price, which would be good. But I think it's good to throw a LeBron in there, kind of lifestyle, kind of basketball. And I actually don't mind the low on these. A lot of shoes, I don't like the lows. Like Jordan 6 lows are not my favorite, but like these, these are pretty solid. $180, these were a size nine and a half. I think this is a solid option just to start off with. And uh, we got some good ones to go. All right, the next one's gonna be one of the last pairs that I picked up and one of my actually favorites out of all of these. And I'm really mad they didn't have my size. They were sold out. This is a Blazer Low 77 Jumbo. So we've had so many Blazer 77s in the past. In my opinion, one of the best shoes for $100. And you can see I wear them a lot. Uh, this is an amazing silhouette. But this one is a Blazer Low orange with a jumbo swoosh and it has jumbo laces this is clean it reminds me kind of like a skate shoe of like an sb and i really like these so these were hundred dollars got them in a size 10 but uh i'm gonna see if i can squeeze into these and show you what they look like because i just i really like them. these are super clean i love the nike on the back how the swoosh goes and for hundred dollars this is probably one of my top picks out of all of these you guys might not like these there are some better ones in here i think but for a hundred bucks my favorite color is orange this is the pair and i'm still actually mad that these are not my size but retail is actually 95 on these but round it up to 100. One thing I don't like about blazer lows too much is like how long it is. But these, when you kind of like space the laces out, it looks better in my opinion. So I really like those. I'm not gonna talk about those much more, but same opinion. Let's go to a wacky and weird one that Nick and I liked. So can't tell. This is a Monsters Ink box. Sully and Mike on there. You have the mix. Now you might be thinking, oh, this is gonna be like a, just like a leather Adidas superstar or something, but it's a Stan Smith. It's actually really interesting. It's a crazy material. This was kind of like, uh, kind of like out of left field that we threw in here. Like this isn't like one that I would wear every day, but like the materials on that is full fuzzy purple and blue. And it's crazy. You got Sully on the tongue there on the back. It's not easy being green. And you got Mike there on that. So I, we just thought this is really funny and cool. It's kind of like the uh, Grateful Dead's material wise, like super puffy. If you guys want these, they're going on my website, harrisonhevel.com. And retail, I can't remember what retail was on these. I think it was, I believe retail was like 80 to $100 on these. 
because I'm not sure I cannot find the receipt at this moment. But again, not an everyday wear, but we thought it was just funny and like a kind of a crazy type of shoe to put in here. I would not expect to see these at the mall. Guys, they are so soft. Like when you yeah. feel them. They're kind of, it's it's weird though. They're weird. Next up is, hmm, where do we go from here? Do a Yeezy, Jordan 13. What about Air Force One? Let's do the Air Force One. So you can get Air Force One at the mall now. You can get an all white Air Force One. Um, they're a hundred dollars now. It's still a little bit difficult to find them in the size, but out of those like nine stores, there's like two of them that had them in sizes. But instead of doing white, we wanted to get an actual cool colorway that we liked. And it's similar to some of the shoes we have. And that is a kind of UNC colorway. So this kind of reminds me of like a retro, like UCLA type sneaker. Like I had a pair, I can't even remember what pair of shoes they were. I had like a UCLA pair of shoes back in the day that I love. And uh, this just reminds me of that colorway. Now this is, this is a big size. These are a hundred dollars retail. Like most of them are. They've taken this price tag off now. I don't know why. But they actually had a good selection of Air Force Ones at that specific store. And that was a JD Sports, right? Yeah, JD Sports. These are both like UNC shoes. Obviously these are all three different tones, but still pretty clean. But unfortunately they only had a 13. Like that was the only size left. So I don't know how available they'll be at like your guys' malls, but hopefully we got a variety enough of shoes that you guys can see something that they would have at your local mall. So we did get some Yeezys. We're gonna do some Adidas in there as well, not on Nike. And obviously we have these, but uh, this is a pair of Ultra Boost that they went down in price. We actually paid 130 for them. They're usually like 180, but this colorway is actually reminds me of like when they were like super hot and like reselling in different specific colorways. But check this out, Ultra Boost. I really like that upper, it's really good. They had the all black pair with the black boost as well. If for an everyday shoe, these are super comfortable. For running, not really my thing. I kind of do the Hoka One One, I think that's how you pronounce it. For like running wise, this isn't too much a running shoe to me, but I think this is a really clean shoe. For 130, it's not bad. 180, it's a little bit up there, but uh, I like these. And I think we, uh, we came to a good decision on these first five, if you check them out here. A good variety, you get your running, got your wild, your everydays, your basketball, and some more like uh, unique shoes. So I really like this selection so far. Got five more. All right, guys, gotta hop in here and give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is gonna be Keeps. So we've worked with Keeps in the past and we're working with them once again. If you don't know what Keeps is, they're a subscription service that allows men to keep their hair. If you guys don't know, two out of three men will experience hair loss by the time that they're 35 years old. Keeps offers clinically proven, researched backed treatments to stop hair loss. All treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door. You're getting quality expert care without ever having to visit a doctor's office or a pharmacy, which is really great. You can do it all from home. Keeps has a network of expert medical advisors, prescribers, and care specialists to support you and making your hair goals a reality. Whether you're looking to prevent hair loss, stimulate hair growth, or just take care of the hair that you already have, Keeps has you covered. It's everything that your hair needs and it gets delivered straight to your door. Hair loss stops with Keep. To go ahead and get 50% off your first order, go ahead and go to keeps.com slash Harrison or visit the link in the description down below that is keeps.com, K-E-E-P-S.com slash Harrison to get 50% off your first order. And thank you to Keeps for sponsoring this video. All right, guys, we've got five more left. We're switching up the angle a little bit. Next up is going to be a Jordan 13. If you can't tell by that, it is in the court purple colorway. Now, this is another one of those more expensive retail. This is one that I necessarily wouldn't wear because it's kind of like a puffier shoe. And like I always say, I have pretty skinny legs. So like shoes that are pretty wide and bulky don't look good on me because I have skinny legs. These retail is 180, I believe. And they're selling on like apps for like 200 bucks. This was only at one of the stores we went to, but pretty clean uh, colorway, Ravens colorway. No, they're not in the postseason. But uh, this is a pretty clean colorway. If you guys are wondering who I'm gonna pick for the Super Bowl, I got Joey B. Even though I should not be picking somebody else in my division for NFL, I got Joe Burrow. I think it'll be fun to Watch, but I got Matthew Stafford. He's go got dogs. Matthew Stafford. I think Joe Burrow would be fun to see win. Maybe I, sh I shouldn't be saying that because I'm a Ravens fan, but uh, yeah. But 180, and uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty good colorway and, and sneaker. And if you're not super skinny like me, this could be a good one for you. But that's my opinion on those. So there's number six. Next up, you would think this might be a dunk, but it's not. This is a Air Max 95. And we saw this at a couple stores, and I, I thought it was pretty clean. Some resale stores we've been to actually have these as well. This is a pretty cool colorway. This is the Air Max Running Club. Kind of has like a pin and everything. 95, uh, you know, that's like a unique silhouette, older silhouette. And this one has some unique colors that I like, like greens and blues, oranges. Retail is 170 on these, a little expensive. But we did see these at some, I saw these at a sneaker store that had it for 250. So I guess maybe they're reselling a little bit. I'm not sure, but pretty solid. I like this colorway. I caught my eye when we walked in the store. And I normally don't get 95s when we do these videos, but I thought this was a good one to get for that. We take this out of the way so you can kind of see what it looks like. Obviously, 95 is a classic silhouette and uh, a lot of people like it. And I think if you're going to a mall, this is a really good option to get. Okay, the next one is going to be a, another blazer, but a blazer high. And this colorway is so clean. I stopped doing blazers for a little bit because I did them so much, but 
check these out. I love the all white, white swoosh with the red sticking out behind, and it says just do it right there. I think that is so clean. I think this could be for anybody. If you're not like huge into sneakers and don't like flashy bright sneakers or anything, this is incredible. A lot of people like to work out in blazers. I don't know. These are a hundred bucks, and I'm always gonna recommend getting blazers from the mall because you can always get them there. Like they always have them. And some of them have actually been selling out with the all black swoosh is like my go-to, but this is like one of my favorites now. Like the swoosh is kind of like reflective a little bit, and uh, I just think it's super clean. So again, blazers can never go wrong. And this is one of my favorite colors. It reminds me of like, kind of like CPFM or something with that on the side there, like hundred bucks blazer. And we got two left. All right, two more. We got a Adidas Yeezy 700. 700s kind of sit in stores a little bit now because the retail price is higher. It's $220. This is kind of a, like a mustardish colorway. And I mean, I'm not a big fan of these for wearing them. Uh, they're just, I don't think they look good on me, but I see a lot of people pull these off and they do look good. And if you can get them for retail, I think that's, that's a, a solid move. This is a pretty unique colorway, kind of like an army-ish green mustard colorway. And if you haven't seen Yeezys lately, they don't have like laces actually anymore. It's kind of like this. It's uh, got like a lock on it, but 220 bucks is a bit pricey. They're probably, I wonder if they're cheaper on like, no, they're probably like 230 or something, but I've been wearing too many Yeezys lately. I think most people aren't wearing as many Yeezys lately. So that's why you have a lot more of the uh, Nike options, but we have three Adidas in this video. All right, last up is an Air Max 90. I didn't really like save the best for last or anything, like save like a hidden one for last. It's Kind of, this is a cool colorway that Nick and I both thought would be good to show. And it's an Air Max 90 in this yellow colorway that is, uh, is it like a smile? Go the extra smile. That's what it says on the inside. Obviously we got yellow. We have a smiley face right there. It's kind of like a cracked and distressed swoosh. Comes with a ton of different materials on there. It's kind of like, uh, I don't even know what this material is right here. It's not like suede or anything, but you have a nice little hint swoosh there. And then uh, the yellow all throughout. Yellow is not my favorite when it comes to like a colorway of a shoe, but I think these are pretty clean. $130 retail. And this was one of the last sizes they had. So I guess they're kind of selling out, but I saw these at multiple. I think that red swoosh on the front definitely makes that shoe. Yeah, it makes a nice little hit to it. So let's go ahead and check our 10. All right, so we got our 10 shoes here. A lot of good selections. I wanted to kind of give you guys the ultimatum and think what you guys are kind of like discuss with you. One of the most offensive pairs here is going to be this one here. I think it's 180 after tax, about $200 worth of shoes. Would you rather go to the mall and try to find a pair or buy a pair online? Now you can get pairs like Nike Dunks. Uh, some of the Dunks have a lot of common colorways come out and they're about 200 to 250, especially on the apps. Some shoes and Jordans are like one, like 60, 170 on apps. Like the Jordan 1 Bordeaux, we got those. They're relatively cheap in the 180s. So I would say if you have to go to a mall, these are some of the best options that we could find. But if you can go on at other apps like StockX, Goat, things like that to buy a pair and try to see if you can get a better deal because you might be able to get something with the same amount of money rather than getting something you don't really like. I mean, a lot of people might like this stuff. Like this is a really good colorway and uh, I think there's a lot of good stuff here, but I also recommend malls are great, but also online is a really good way to buy. And that's not me trying to like promote an app. There's no app sponsor for this or anything, but thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed please leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.